Okay, so today is Saturday. I have just finished mowing the lawn and I hauled my boat out. I changed the bearings on this wheel there a few weeks ago and I've got everything here. I'm going to go do the other side. So I have this bearing kit that I bought last time and uh, that was $90 and then this here was a $24 kit and what is missing from this one that I screwed up last time remember is one bearing and the back seal. So these are extra parts here, but that's fine. So this was 24 bucks, like I said. I knew at the time when I had to cut it off that it was going to be 24 bucks. I've also bought myself a uh, grease gun, which I've never owned, and some grease because uh, on these, on this bearing is actually a little nipple for to grease them. So I've got to grease these ones because they're not pre-greased, right? There's one left in here that is pre-greased, but I want to make sure there's lots of grease. And then, of course, when I want to take this one and make sure everything's still good at, in the fall, there's a nipple I can put the grease gun on. Took me five or six hours last time to do this. Uh, I'm going to time it and see. It's 11.27, so 11.30 we'll call it. And uh, we'll see how long it takes me to do the other side. I'm hoping no more than two hours at most. But before we do that, I was out here riding the riding lawnmower going around and I saw the robins out on the lawn. Let's go take a look and see how the little babies are doing in the nest. You know, I only see one in there, which is odd, because there was like, definitely for sure we saw three in there before. Are they falling out? Did they fall out? Oh no. Okay. Yes, I know. You don't like that. Okay, I'll leave your baby alone. Got an old t-shirt here, definitely going to need a rag, we know from last time. I'll see if I can get it high enough and I'll put this under the axle. I want to loosen it. What, how many do you see? Only one? Yeah, I don't know. No, nah, I would have ate them all. I'm thinking it would have ate them all. Probably need a haircut. Good afternoon, spirits. I just want to 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 I just want to
I wanted to ask you about the other side of my trailer. I did the bearings again the other day. Did you watch me again? And so this time it went much quicker because I knew what I was doing, right? The very first time I did it, you said that I embarrassed you. Was this a better experience? There's something wrong with this, the way this is set up. It's got some bolts here. It's different than the other side. Great. Now I need a deep socket. So it's a good thing to do this side because I, I don't know what kind of gimmick this is. I never really paid attention before. Chinese tortured myself. So instead of lug nuts, it's got bolts on this one. Okay, so I've got that wood under there. I'm just going to lower the jack. Sitting on the wood. But now I'm going to jack it up a little bit again. So it's on the jack right now, but the wood is there just in case something, you know, if the jack falls over. Well, okay. I don't know. It's got, maybe it's the same. I mean, it has to be the same size hub on like around here. This back piece looks smaller, and why is it opposite, whereas normally the bolts are attached to this? Whatever, I don't care if we're going to swap it out. Did I take that off first? Last time? Duh! So this one has a fair amount of grease still in it, which is good. Good sign. Yeah, this side definitely looks better than the other side. I'm wondering if this is the side we put the bearings on last time. Because this looks pretty darn good. I mean, that came out easy as pie. So that bearing is still good. Well, it's not, it's not bad. It's well lubricated, all the pieces are still there. I'm gonna swap it anyways, right? But I mean, compared to the other side, it's almost perfect. Like the seal is good on the back and everything. This axle looks a lot better. The other one, 
was actually rusty because there was no grease left on it. This is like perfect, pristine. There's a lot of grease in there. And this grease looks different than the other grease. And this looks almost like the stuff my dad and I put in, but we swore we changed the other side. Actually, he did put grease in both sides now that I'm thinking about it. We re-greased this one. taking me 30 minutes and that's a lot of I mean 15 minutes if I wasn't wiping all this grease off and everything else right he gave me a 7 on the first side that I changed over um, a scale of 1 to 10 0 being terrible and 10 being professional how would you rate the second tire the bearings that I did on the second side to those little baby robins in the nest outside. Did something get into that nest? because I was doing so much work around the nest and the mother kept leaving the nest, is that what did it? Packaged by 01001. I mean, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to put some grease in her once I get it done here. Not too much to blow out the back seal, but... These things dent. I don't know how you're supposed to put these on. Just lightly snug them and then drop the trailer onto it and then tighten them up. So that's it man, less than half an hour. Uh, okay, so that was pretty easy. Less than an hour and I got all my tools cleaned up. My fingernails are clean, sort of. Um, but yeah, so I used the old cap on that and I saved the new one. Uh, I don't know, there's got to be some trick to putting those on without denting them, but eh. Like I said, not too worried about that. It's nice and sealed solid and there's no uh, grease going to get out of there. Uh, my grandpa said you can't go fishing until the work is done, when he was here and alive of course. So. Behind me, all my wood is done. I've got all that piled. I got a whole bunch piled in the basement. Uh, there's some wood chips on the ground here. That's I'm going to clean up today, 
Uh, the grass is mowed, the boat is fixed. Tomorrow, I'm going fishing. One more thing I wanted to know, spirits. The other day, I spent five hours at the emergency in the hospital because I woke up and I couldn't see out of this eye. It wasn't like a dark, black something in my eye. It was just very blurry, like as if you poured oil into my eye. It wouldn't focus, didn't work. I might as well have been blind in that eye. What caused that? Is it fine now, or is it something I should continue to get looked into? I'm supposed to go see the opto ophthalmologist if they uh, set up an appointment for me. Are they going to be doing that? And should I go see that ophthalmologist? All right, this was just a quick session. Do you spirits have a message for any of our viewers today? Love, peace, joy, and adventure to you. Love, peace, joy, and adventure to you viewers. We'll catch you guys in the next video.